Hello YouTube, this is Chris with Task Force 247 Airsoft once again with another great review today. Uh, today I've been re reviewing most Russian weapons today and I'm enjoying that a lot today, being a big Red Alliance fan that I am. Today I have a nice weapon for you that a lot of people don't like for some reason and I don't understand why. Uh, I think this needs to replace the 1911. I know that's never going to happen, just my personal opinion. I am not a fan of the 1911 on field because there are so many of them and they're such a big pistol that give less performance than this gun. This is the KWA Tokarev TT-33 World War II pistol and or the standard uh, Soviet Union police pistol. Uh, KWA has really gone above and beyond with this pistol. It is now one of my favorite KWA products, and I've owned a KWA MP7, MP9, I've uh, dabbled with their gas blowback M4s. Uh, KWA is a fantastic company that never, uh, that never surprises to amaze. Uh, this pistol is no exception. It's an extremely light pistol with a very small body on it. It's... Uh, if you have bigger hands, like I have very big hands, and this pistol sometimes I, my pinky goes underneath the mag well. I don't really have that big of an issue with it when the mag's in. It does give about an extra half inch to the bottom of the, uh, the body of it. Uh, but it is an exceptionally nice pistol. We're going to go, um, I've, had, I've heard people talk about how they say it feels plasticky and fake and cheesy. That is the complete opposite of what this gun is. This entire pistol is made of stamped aluminum, uh, very close to the real durability of the actual Tokarev. Uh, there's and ev the few things that people debate about online that I hear, uh, but none of them have no merit to back it up with, is that it's not true to the original pistol, and that's why they don't like it. If you really want to get nitpicky about it, the only things that are not true to the original pistol are the sights, are different than the original pistol, and the hand grips are a little bit thinner. That's it. That is physically the only difference between the real pistol and this. Everyone you ask who says, oh, it's not the same, they can't back it up. There you go. It's all out the door. Uh, this gun is a lot better than most 1911s I've seen, uh, especially the more popular ones like the High Kappas, because like, even though they are CO2, this one is just as reliable as a CO2 pistol, but it's gas blowback. It's KWA. Their NS2 system is fantastic. For those of you who are unaware, the NS2 system is a uh, new mechanism they developed inside of their pistols which saves gas. Instead of being able to only get, you know, f uh, f you know, maybe 8 out of 10 rounds out of your magazine, you can get 10 magazines out of one fill of gas. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. It's more like three mags out of one fill, which is extremely nice. Uh, and this being a single stack magazine with the real capacity of the eight of the ten rounds, well, it's two over the real capacity. I, I only put eight in here, though. I like the real capacity of it. Um, but trust me, eight is all you need. This pistol out of the box is shooting 380, which is incredible. The box itself even says designed for .25s and heavier. So here's a quick demonstration of the blowback action on this gun. It's very smooth. And as you can see, that was somewhere in close to 20 to 25 shots on a half fill. Well, no, it wasn't a half fill. It was a three-second fill. Uh, that just shows KWA's reliability with their weapons and their overall advancements in the gas weapon systems. I love it. So, externally on the rifle, we're going to go over some uh, qualities that some people are a little bit annoyed about. So first of all, everyone says, looking at this gun, that there's no safety on the weapon. And these are all the people who are saying that they're the big Tokarev buffs, but here we go again. The safety is the trigger. See how it's on a swivel. When this uh, trigger is pushed down to where this opening is flush against the receiver and pushed back, the safety is engaged. See how the trigger locks. When here, if you just push it down, it pops back up. Push down, push back, safety is engaged. To engage the trigger, just push up and then the trigger becomes available to shoot. That is the feature on this real steel Tokarev as well as this. It is a flawed safety. 
but it is a safety nonetheless, and it's original, which I enjoy a lot. It keeps the overall body size on the pistol down as well, which is very nice because this is extremely concealable. If you have a situation where uh, you have to be searched in a game, you can hide this in an ankle holster and no one will try to look. It is that, it looks a lot bigger than you think it is, but my hand can almost cover the entire pistol. It's a very, very nice pistol. Um, one feature I do enjoy, which seems a little pointless, but I do love, is the hammer on it. It's the traditional Soviet-style hammer, and unlike a lot of 1911s where if you try to release the hammer, they lock up in the middle and you can't push them forward because you because your hand isn't pushing down on the safety on the back of the trigger. It's very nice because it actually releases. It's an amazing feeling when you're running through the field. You know, you got your hammer back, you acquire a target, and he's like, I'm on your side, I'm on your side, and you're just like, okay, we're cool, we're cool. It's a great feeling. I love it. Uh, to get inside of the pistol, it is exactly the same as a 1911, except for this one little detail. This little slide right here, you just have to pull it back. The first uh, ten times you use it or so, it'll be really stiff, and you have to really pry that out of there with a screwdriver or something. Not a problem. Unlike the 1911, also, you, have to, uh, you don't have to pull the slide back to any certain point to pop the pin out. You can just push through and pull it out. The slide comes right off. Internally of the receiver, nothing special, nothing at all, just the receiver of a pistol. Going into the slide, though, this is where the interesting things are. What you need to do when you first get this pistol, because KWA pistols are extremely dry out of the box and uh, very stiff on the slide. Oil the hell out of the uh, grooves here that lock onto the slide, uh, that lock onto here. When you put the pistol back on, uh, lube up both of those little male and female uh, ledges. This spring is extremely weak out of the box. Stretch it very, very carefully, but stretch it nonetheless. Uh, the, when you get it, the uh, spaces in between the spring are going to be about half this size, so you really have to stretch it out till they're about this far apart, and then let them come back in. You know you've done a good job when you've had a really hard, we have a really hard time putting the spring back in. There we go. When you have a hard time getting the spring back in, that's when you know it's right. So the, you, can, you can turn this into a hard kick gun very simply. Uh, what I really do like is the attention to detail is on the top, the serial numbers, the BK989, and then the year. These are actually accurate serial numbers going towards the gun, and every like 100 Tokarevs have a different date from 1933 to... Uh, I believe 1947. So you you'll get a unique serial number and a unique date de uh, depending on when your gun was actually made in relative terms, which I like a lot. So when we move on to the receiver. It also has a bottom receiver serial number and the red star and the KWA logo. So it's very discreet. It took me a while to actually notice it. Thing that did not take me a while to notice it was the big nasty manufactured in Taiwan, which is going to be removed with some uh, light sandpaper later, and probably painted back over. Uh, one other thing, when you try to put the slide back on, don't think it's stuck and try to jam it. Right there is this little nub that prevents the slide from coming off in the wrong direction. So what you do is just push that down and push the slide over it fast. That's all you gotta do. Uh, I do not have it because I bought this as a used pistol, but there is a hop-up adjustment tool that comes with this pistol in the box. It looks very weird. It looks a lot like the uh, pin for the bolt release. But what you do is you open it, put it in the chamber, and then spin it left or right for hop-up or hop-down. Very, And it's a very stable system. Once you have it set, it's never going anywhere. So, once again, this pistol, I rated it a 10 out of 10. It is a fantastic job from KWA, and I want pistols like this to replace the 1911s. Uh, they're fantastic. I know that'll never happen, and I know some guys on my team are going to get really mad hearing me say that, but that's my opinion. Until next time, this is Chris with Task Force 247 Airsoft, signing off.